Welcome back to FLJ, ladies and gentlemen. Linux distributions are operating systems that are based on the Linux kernel and contain a variety of applications and services. Immutable or transactional Linux distributions and classic Linux distributions differ in their approach to software updates and management. This comparison highlights the key differences between the two approaches. If you want to know what the future can bring you in a Linux environment, then be sure to watch the video until the end. Let's give it a start. Classic Linux distributions follow an established software management model. They are based on a fixed operating system image that is installed on a server or computer. The distribution offer regular updates to close security gaps, fix software errors and introduce new functions. The updates are provided by the developers or the Linux community and managed by the users via package manager such as APT that stands for Advanced Package Tool, DNF that stands for Dandified YUM, Pacman or Zipper. Users can update individual software packages or update the entire operating system to a newer version. The advantage of this approach is its flexibility as users can customize their systems to meet their specific requirements. Transactional Linux distributions have a fundamentally different software management concept. Here the operating system is only configured and installed once and all system components are kept in an unchangeable state. This means that no direct changes can be made to the system after the operating system has been installed. Instead of updating individual packages, a snapshot of the system including the necessary updates and patches is created. Users must then boot the system in order to obtain the latest functions and security updates. The advantage of this approach lies in the consistency and security of the system as it always remains in a known state thanks to the secure snapshots and the risk of misconfiguration or unwanted changes is minimized. In transactional distributions, the main directory, also called the root directory, is write protected. Changes are treated like transactions. The ButterFS file system is used in transactional distros as it provides a core feature for immutable distros due to its ability to provide rollback able snapshots. This helps to revert to a previous version if there are problems. In classic distributions, software updates are published regularly to fix security vulnerabilities and introduce new functions. Users have the option of installing the updates either manually via the package manager or automatically via corresponding services. This means that users retain control over the updates and can update individual software packages as required. However, this flexibility can also lead to problems if a user delays or skips updates as this increases the security risk. There are no direct updates in immutable distributions. Instead, a snapshot of the existing system is created, which is updated with the available patches. The previous system is retained as an additional snapshot after the reboot. This approach ensures that the system is always in a known and reliable state. When a new version is started, it contains all the necessary updates and security patches. Although this concept ensures a high level of consistency and security, it also requires more effort to maintain and update the system. Installing updates for transactional distros is quick and easy. There is also a special rollback function in case of something goes wrong. Users can also choose whether they always want to have several versions of the operating system installed and they can choose which version should be started when they start the system. With transactional distros, this is split into different parts which look as follow using the example Fedora Silverblue. LibOS3 checks out a copy of the file system object from the repository. DNF installs packages in this copy. LibOS3 checks in the copy as the new object. LibOS3 checks out the copy to become the new file system. Restart the system to apply the new system files. Operating system updates are fully integrated into the desktop. Users are automatically notified when an update is available. By default, the update is downloaded automatically. This can be changed in the update settings under software. 
As soon as an update is available, only a restart is required to use the new version. During this restart, there is no need to wait until the update is installed. In principle, the transactional distros configure the updates that they are automatically installed in the background. The user's job is to restart the system regularly in order to receive the corresponding updates. The security of classic distributions depend heavily on how quickly and regularly users install the available updates. If security patches are delayed or not installed at all, the system can be vulnerable to attacks and exploits. The use of software from insecure sources can also increase the security risk. As users have the ability to customize the system and add software, there is also a risk of configuration errors or package conflicts that could compromise the security. Immutable distributions generally offer a higher level of security as the operating system always remains in a known and unchangeable state. As no direct changes can be made to the system, the risk of misconfigurations or unwanted changes is minimized. When security patches are released, these must be downloaded and installed for the new operating system image to be created in order to receive the latest updates. A reboot is then required. This reduces the security risk as the system is always in a known and patched state. Classic distributions support rollback if problems occur after an update. Users can roll back to an earlier version of a package or even the entire operating system to resolve stability issues. This is useful if an update causes unexpected problems or a software component becomes incompatible. As the operating system is not updated directly, it is easy to roll back on an immutable distribution. If problems occur after an update, users must restart the previous image of the entire operating system. In transactional systems, this happens automatically. If something goes wrong, the system reverts to a previous stable version. Classic distributions are well suited to use of container technologies such as Docker and Podman. These containers run on the installed operating system and can have their own dependencies and libraries. Users can easily install and run containers to isolate applications and services. Immutable distributions offer a consistent and reliable environment for the use of containers. Since the operating system is not changed, it is easier to create reproducible and secure container images. Using containers on an immutable operating system also helps to minimize the container drift problem where containers and their dependencies can change over time and lead to inconsistencies. When comparing transactional and traditional Linux distributions, the choice is between customizability and user-friendliness. Traditional distributions are like a blank canvas on which administrators can realize their creative ideas. This enables a customized environment that perfectly meets the needs. However, this freedom also comes with a greater responsibility, especially when it comes to handle updates. Otherwise, a self-inflicted security disaster can be imminent. On the other hand, transactional distributions offer a standardization and simplify that meets the requirement of less experienced users. Atomic updates and rollback minimize the likelihood of errors, which is particularly important in environments where high availability is required. However, this approach may be perceived as too restrictive for experienced administrators who want detailed control over the system. Furthermore, these systems require more frequent restarts even to activate minor changes. More frequent downtimes should be planned for. The choice between transactional and classic Linux distributions therefore depends on the specific requirements of the user or organization. A comprehensive evaluation taking into account the needs, the experience of the administrators and the type of applications used is crucial in order to select the most suitable Linux distribution. Now I want to know what kind of distribution are you running, a classic or a mutable? Please write this in the comments. If you like this video and want to stay tuned for more videos, please leave a free channel subscription. Also hit the thumbs up button and activate the bell. Thanks for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Peace.